taste of a kiss keeps you begging for more And it's all that I could think about while staring at her As she's walking out the door Hello guys! I hope you're doing well. So today I thought I'd do a get ready with me makeup tutorial. I've never done this kind of video before, it was my very first time so don't mind if I sound very awkward in the video. Because I didn't know what to say, I mean I was so nervous. I just realized how hard it is to do your makeup whilst talking. Definitely to work on that, I need more practice. But I prepared this look. I had no idea what I wanted to do for this video. I had no particular look in mind, so I just went with the flow. But it turned out pretty well, don't you think? Okay, maybe not that close. It's kind of like bronze, a pop of color in the inner corner, and hot pink lips. Today's Valentine's Day, so happy Valentine's Day to you guys. I also filmed a video on a two-in-one with makeup tutorial for Valentine's Day. Do give it a watch if you haven't already. It will be around, right around here. So once you're done with this video, give that video a watch and let me know what you think. But yeah, I'm just gonna stop talking and just get on to the video. All right guys, I'll see you in a bit, bye. Good morning everybody, I just woke up, so pardon my zombie face, it usually occurs in the morning, so I'm going to moisturize my face, because my face is so dry, even when your face is not dry you should always moisturize, it makes the application for foundation a lot more smoother, don't forget to apply it on your neck, that's on your hands. Right, so I'm going to take my foundation and I'm only going to take a little bit. One and a half pump will do. First I'm going to blot foundation with my fingers. I usually need it around my mouth. I've got these weird lines. Like, I've got like moustache or something but I don't. Just shaved. I mean, not shaved, but plucked all the hair out. Now I'm gonna blend it all out with a sponge. I'm gonna tap, tap, tap. I'm not gonna rub it because that wouldn't give me any coverage. I usually apply the foundation on, on the center of my face. Then I blend it outward so it's more like natural looking. Okay. And apply it on my neck. Now that we're done with foundation, I'm gonna take a bit of concealer and conceal all my trouble areas. I'm mainly going to focus on this area right here and on the inner corners and around my mouth and on the side of the nose. I'm going to blend it out with my finger. I'm going to use a lighter concealer to highlight my face. I'm going to take a sponge and blend it all out. And this will brighten up my face even more. <sighs> all done. I'm going to take an eyeshadow primer and prime my eyes. I'm also on the lower lash line. Now I'm gonna do my eyebrows. Usually I'll just take a tiny bit of black eyeshadow and just shape my brows. First I would get the shape right. I'm gonna start to fill in. I'm slightly filling in a All right, now I'm gonna take a little bit of concealer and go around the edges of my eyebrows to make them stand out and to define them even more. So I'm gonna do it on the upper. 
I'm gonna blend it out so it's not very obvious. See, it just looks so much better. All done, now to the eye makeup. Would you please stop shaking? Thank you. Now onto the eye makeup. I have no idea what I'm gonna do. All right, I'm taking this matte brown eyeshadow and I'm gonna contour my eyes using a blending brush. Actually, a blush, but I'm gonna use it as eyeshadow. I'm gonna put this on the center of my lid. I literally look like a zombie. See, this is what happens when you don't track or hand. Like that rhymes. Okay, so I'm gonna use this powder on the lid. So I'm gonna use this palette that I've never used before. Well, no, I've used one of a, one of them before. So I'm gonna take this mint. Is it mint? This green color right here. And I'm gonna I'm gonna apply it on in that corner. I wouldn't look so dead. Okay, I've gone back with the concealer and cleaned some of it, some of the brown eyeshadow around. Yeah, because I thought I, I applied it too far down and I literally made myself look like a zombie. I'm taking this dark brown eyeshadow here and I'm gonna apply this on my lower lash line to give my eyes some more definition. I'm gonna take this highlight colour and apply it on my brow bone. Okay guys, we're almost done. Bear with me. Now that we're done with the eyeshadows, I'm gonna take this white eyeliner pencil and I'm gonna apply this on my waterline. Alright, I'm gonna take this brown pencil eyeliner and I'm gonna line my top lash line. Also gonna do a little like and I'm gonna tight line as well and the gaps between my lashes. Now I'm gonna take a liquid pen eyeliner and I'm gonna go over the brown eyeliner that I just applied. I'm gonna apply it very close to the lash line so it's so it's not very obvious. I'm gonna define the look. Now it's time for mascara. Okay, so I've applied a coat of mascara. I'm gonna go with the second one, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna only apply the mascara on the tips of my lashes. What it does is it makes the tip of your lashes more visible and your lashes wouldn't look so naked. Does that make sense? I recently discovered this tip and I really like it. You should try it too. Oh, I'm so hungry, my stomach is talking to me. Okay, so Alright, that would do. So, it's time to put on some false eyelashes. Now, I'm gonna go with very natural looking ones. Are they natural looking? Well, we'll see. I don't know about you guys, but putting on false eyelashes is the most difficult thing when it comes to doing makeup. For me, at least. Oh no, that was sick! Oh, well, I don't know. I don't know what Alright, I've got both of my lashes on. Now I'm gonna take a pan liner and um, you see this white line? I'm gonna cover that with this so it looks more natural. Alright guys, on to the face. I'm gonna use this bronzer from my Carly Bible palette and I'm gonna contour my cheeks a little bit to slim my face and add some color back to my skin. This one looks very, very 
Okay, I don't really like it. It was very natural on the skin. I thought, at first, I thought it wouldn't be like natural because it's, it's like very shimmery. Oh my god, it makes very shimmery. Like, like once you apply it, it's like, it's like, it's not shimmery, but it's like, it has this glow to it. I really like it. I might take close to the camera, I think you'll like that. Okay, I think I applied the bronzer way too much. So I'm going to take some powder, and I'm going to just fade it a little bit. Okay, I'm also going to apply it on my jawline to make it a bit prominent. I'm going to take this shimmery pink blush and I'm going to apply it right on the apples of my cheeks. I think I'm going to just give highlights up on it because the blush already has a shimmer to it, so I'm going to go with that. Now I'm going to contour my nose using the same brown, matte brown eyeshadow that we used for the eyes earlier. Make sure you've done it very well. And I'm going to do this pink highlighter shade and I'm going to round this down and bridge up my nose. I'm going to take a little bit more, so I'm going to make it dark, like so. And then bring it out like this. For my lips, I'm taking this deep pink lip liner to contour my lips. I'm going to use a hot pink lipstick. So, to contour my lips, I'm going to use a much darker color to get the shape right. And also make it more prominent. Make them stand out. I'm taking this bright fuchsia or hot pink lipstick Right, done with the lips Now I'm gonna do my hair, which is crazy at the moment And I'll be right back Alright guys, I'm all ready I had planned to do another video on a hair tutorial But my hair just doesn't want to cooperate with me today for some reason. I'm having a bad hair day. How great. But yeah, I hope you like this get ready with me slash makeup tutorial. It was my very first time doing this kind of video. I've never done it before. So hopefully it wasn't too boring for you guys. But if you did enjoy it, please give this video a thumbs up as it lets me know that you guys like the kind of content that I create. So I would do more of them. Also, follow me on Snapchat, Instagram and Facebook. And follow me on Twitter so we can connect and get to know each other. That is it guys. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and a happy Valentine's Day. I'll see you guys in my next video. Till then, take care and stay fabulous. Bye guys.